Hey everyone, welcome back to Code of the Row. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to pick up items in an inventory, store it in the inventory, and be able to pretty much just do a print string on what items you're carrying at the moment. So the first thing I'm going to do is go over to my content browser, right click in the content, and I want to create a blueprint interface class. I'm going to call this BPI underscore inventory. And I'll double click to open this, and I'm just going to call this function add item. Once you open it, it'll already greet you with naming the first function. So up here, I'll call it add item. And for an input parameter, I'm just going to click this plus sign and put the new change new param to item because I want it to be called item. And I want to change Boolean to actor because in this case, we'll be picking up actors for this game. And when you hover over actor, you'll be able to see uh, references. In this case, I'm just going to select the object reference and I'll hit compile and save. Now, when you're in your third person map, Go over to your world settings. If this is not active, go to windows and make sure world settings is checked. And then I'm going to open my default pawn class, which is my BP third person character. So now underneath all the default stuff, I'm basically just going to add my inventory stuff. So for this, what I'm going to be doing is go to your class settings. And now we're going to implement that interface that we just created. So I'll click this down arrow after I click class settings in the details panel. I'll go to implement the interface and look for my BPI inventory. And when I hit compile, you're going to see an interface section pop up over here on the left under your my blueprint tab, and there'll be an add item button. I'm just going to double click this and drag it under all my stuff. And now for add item, I am just going to make two or I'm going to make a variable called inventory. So under so under my variables tab, I'm going to click this plus sign and I'm going to name this inventory and change this from a Boolean to an actor because that's what we'll be picking up. And same thing, I'm gonna select object reference. And if you see this little blue tab next to it, um, you can change this and click an array. So you'll see these little symbols that represent single actor, an array of actors, set of actors, or a map. In this case, we're gonna be using the array because our inventory will have multiple items. So I'm just gonna drag this up and do a git inventory. And now once this inventory is in place with the array tab checked in, I'm just going to drag out a pin from here, type in add, and then under array, you'll see this add button. Just click that function. And now I'm going to connect these two pins from add item. So every time we add an item, it's going to bring that item into this inventory and store it in this array. And now I'm just going to add a debug key just so I can test it in the map. So what I'm going to do is right click and type in debug key. And in my case, I'll use the F key. You can use whatever you want. And I want to drag this out into a for each loop and basically for each item in my inventory. So I'll drag out my inventory and just connect it to the array here. Then I want to do a print string and I actually just want to print string the array element. So it will automatically connect the get, dis get display name and it'll print out everything in my inventory. And now hit compile and save. And one last thing is we actually need actors to pick up. Currently we don't, we haven't made any. So let's go ahead and do that in the content. I'm just going to right click and select a blueprint class of an actor. And then I'll call this BP underscore pickup and I'll double click to open the blueprint editor here. And now I'm just going to assign two things. In this case, I'm just going to do a simple box collision and a static mesh. So let's start with a static mesh or actually I'll just go ahead and add a cube. And that looks fine to me, maybe a little smaller, just like that, hit compile. And then I'm going to add a box collision. I'll unparent it by hovering it over hit compile and save. And I want to make this box a bit bigger, just like this. And that looks good to me. So now in my event graph, I'm going to select the box, scroll down to the events. And when I on component begin overlap, I just want to add in that add item function under the BPI inventory class. And the reason why we can see this is because we added this as a blueprint interface. And now for the other actor, I'm going to connect this to target, which is giving us that error. And then for item, I'm just going to reference self. And this is because self represents our actor class, which is exactly what we're storing in our inventory. Then I'm just going to do a print string just for debugging purposes and just say this item was picked up. And then I want to destroy the actor because if the actor is still there, then I can just pick up an infinite amount of those. And I don't want that. And now this looks pretty good to me. So what I'm going to do is hold control, click B to go to this item. And now I'm just going to drag a few around the map as if I'm setting up my game and you're going to see the names in the, in the outliner panel. So this is called BB pickup, BB pickup two in the back and BB pickup three. So when I hit play and all I need to do to pick it up, is walk around it. 
So I'll just pick this up. And now in the top left, you'll see it says this item was picked up just like that. And now if I click F right now, it'll debug that I picked up my BP pickup and B BB pickup three, just like that. And now if I hover over this, it'll say this item was picked up. And if I click F now, it'll say, it'll show all three items are picked up. And that's a very simple how to pick up items and store it into an array. Thanks for watching Code with, Code with Row. Like, subscribe, comment below what you want to see next, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.